Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, we are going to see about how can you build a custom checkbox field. So see here, how a checkbox field actually behaves like. So if you will see the out of the box functionality, for example, if you select India, UK, so these two options will get selected. So selection is one feature. If you deselect India, it will get deselected as well. Okay, let's say like if you want to add validation, so what you will do here, India, USA, let's say like I don't want more than two options to be selected. So when the user will click on the third option, a validation message will show that you cannot select more than two options. But our use case is a bit different. We want that once users select two options, the other two options should get disabled. So that functionality we cannot directly build in the checkbox. For that, we have to use a custom checkbox field here. So see here, if you select UK, so one option got selected. If you select Australia, then other option got selected. But as soon as two options were getting selected, the other two options got disabled by itself. So this is what a custom functionality is. And we are going to see that how can we build this custom functionality. So this custom code is going to be uh, helpful to you in building the logics as well and understanding like how particular components actually works like. So let's get started on that. Now guys, let's move on to the coding part. So how we have done that. So basically like what I have done as of now here is local bank options I have done. India, UK, USA and Australia. These are about four options. One local bank selected is there and we have taken a loop here because options can be two, three, five as well. So multiple options can be there. And, and for each option, we have taken a side by side layout in that first item is the icon here in which we have given square hyphen O. So this is the one which is displaying here square symbol. And the other one here is the label that is FB bank item. Here. So India, UK, USA, all these are showing here. The important part here is the link. And what is the functioning of the link? when we are building this component so main function of the link here is selection so on selection a value should get appended if it is null right if it is not selected but if the value is already present in the array then it should deselect as well it means we have to remove and finally we have to make a condition to disable the link as well so these are the three functionalities that we are going to build here Let's get started on the link part here. The link that we are going to use here is dynamic link. So in the dynamic link, let's use the save into and in the save into, let's add here a bank save. Where we want to save the data, we want to save the data in local bank selected. Okay, and what value actually we need to save there. So see, whenever a user will click on check multiple item, it should get appended. So append the array in which it should get appended is local bank selected and the value that should get appended is F bank item. So if the user click on UK and then they click on USA. So see here in the local we are getting UK and USA as well. But there is a gap just writing the append here. What if I click on UK once again? So once again UK will get added in this array. We want to make a condition that if that particular value is already present in the array, it should not get added. Instead, it should get removed. So basically what we have to do here is we have to add an if condition here. Uh, we will make a contains here. So if contains local bank in which array we are checking this one and FB bank item. So if FB bank item is already present in this array, then what we will do? We will remove from the array. So the array from which we have to remove is local bank selected and what value we have to remove. So we will use here where contains uh, the value that we are looking for is FP bank item and array in which we are looking for is local bank selected. That's it. So this is the value that we have to remove. Otherwise, it should be appended. Let's see that. If I click on Australia, so my fourth value will should get appended here Australia. If I click on UK once again, so see here, what will happen? UK got removed here. Now let this selection and deselection is covered here. Let's add a condition for the icon as well. As of now, like we are not able to know without checking the values. So if uh, the same contents, we will do it here. Just copy this condition. This is going to be a very useful condition for us. So if it is already present there, then I don't want this icon instead. Let's do something like checked icon. So this is our checked icon. This is what. 
so if it is already contained there then you should show check check box like this one otherwise you should show none there so that part is done now the next part is very important we have done about the selection and deselection disable how can we disable the link so in the link as well you can disable it or there is a so when functionality in the link as well so if you will go collapse the save into and now let's add the show when now let's assume like when the link should show so let me just write here null and let's assume some conditions so click on test so when everything is null then the link should show if the user checked on two check boxes as well for those two it should show and other two it should not show that is our basically condition so let's write our first condition here so if it is null or empty okay what local bank selected so that is our null condition if it is null or empty then show when will be true means it should show next condition is that if the link should show if the values are already selected in that for that two values the link should show so if uh, how we will know that uh, now this condition is important how we know what is selected here and what is not selected so we can create a separate local variable local bank unselected and for unselected only we can disable the links for rest of them link will be enabled so it will become a bit easier for us so how can we know what is selected and what is unselected in order to do that what we will do here index of so first of all we will get the indexes here so the data is going to be local bank options okay and what where contains the same where contains we will copy from here as well the same where contains we will just copy from here and paste it so that's it so see here what will happen here instead of every bank item we will write here the values that we are looking for is local bank selected and array in which we are looking for is options that's it so now let's see that what will happen here india and uk is coming okay because that option is not present there and finally we will take a difference here so whatever is the, the in present in local bank options here so local bank options so difference of this one these two array difference we have taken here now see that so if contains we will check here how okay so if contains so what the array in which we are looking for is what unselected what should be present there if we bank item is present in this one then it should be uh, link should be false otherwise should be true that's it so our condition basically is ready and now see here only uk and australia will get selected here now if i unselect that particular value here so it is also unselected it is also unselected here and now every now the selection has again appeared here in the selection you can see zero item unselected four items are present if i click on uk so see here uk will get selected but all the links are getting disabled here it means we need one more condition here that if it is null or empty it should it is true and if we have to check like our basic condition is that user should be able to select only two options if count of so we are going to take here count of local bank uh, selected is equal to two then also it should be true otherwise this particular if condition we can write it here that's it so now here see click on test here interface and let's see that if uk i have selected here so you can see oh for uk only it is oh it is not equal to right now i have changed the condition to count is less than two if it is less than two then only it will be true otherwise it will follow this particular condition now you can see here my condition is working fine so uncheck that usa and uk as well okay now let's select if you if i select australia so australia is getting selected here if i select usa usa will also select but india and uk user won't be able to select but if you click on usa again it will get deselected and now my condition again becomes false so what is our show when condition is it less than two so yes it is less than two so the condition will again become true and any other option also you can select it here so let's say uk or usa or india any other option and one more thing we can do in the link here is we can make the link style as standalone so that it will resemble more like 
the checkbox here so this is the standard on feature so this is how we can create a custom functionality these kind of huge cases are great for building logics so i hope it is clear to you practice it once again and try to implement more huge cases as well in that so that's all for now thank you